everybody, my name is David. I'm a Coke Play Frontier from the Genesis Group. I am going to give you guys a market update, but it's going to be in all English, okay? Um, as you see on the time, it's 12.15 a.m. All right, it's in the morning. I'm making this video for all of you out in the Coke world, all right? Now, please hit the like and hit the subscribe, okay? We're trying to reach a 1,000 people. Right now, I think we're at like 999. So please hit the subscribe button. All right. I would like to reach a thousand people on this channel and also, you know, share the link with some friends and ask them to hit the subscribe button as well and hit the like. All right. So let me sh show you <clears throat> what I see. I remember the last video, I did say that, you know, I, I, would, I was going to expect some kind of rejection, right? Bitcoin going down. Um, so it seems like it's happening now. Okay, so However in the RSI When I see Bitcoin hit, you know, some lower range levels uh, I might You know if I want to swing trade I'll, I'll, I'll put in I would actually put a you know small whatever three to five percent in and Get a bounce and sell off right now here, let me show you guys what I think. Uh, this is by Optical Arts. Remember this, this line, right? And you're wondering, what is that line? Well, let me show you what that line was. That line was this line right here, which was this line. I said, you know, in the past, this is by Optical Arts. Once again, I do promote this channel because I used to subscribe to their um, service his service until the previous administration blocked us people in South Korea from subscribing to outside foreign services for um, anything related to stocks or crypto but if you see this line in the past Bitcoin got rejected right and I say yeah Bitcoin reached this line have a you know it can even wick above but in my opinion it'll get rejected well that's exactly what happened so you had the wicks but right now it's underneath, right? And so here, Optical Arts, he says he's, you know, he's thinking maybe uh, Bitcoin could even go as far as 21,000. All right, so to me, that, that sounds pretty good. Um, I would like to go in around that price, okay? And... And the reason why I'm saying that is because, once again, I'm looking at this Ethereum chart back in 2018. We're at 6, okay? And if you look at 6, it got close to the green line. It got rejected. It didn't go to the bottom. You can see 6 is the bottom, right, of two, 2018. Ethereum didn't go down already to the bottom. Okay, it went, you know, from it bouncing up, probably went around half. And right now, Bitcoin. Ethereum went up to that green line, got close to it. It seems like it's getting rejected. And so from the top to the bottom, it's probably, I'm thinking around 50%. So if I look at Ethereum, the bottom one's at $881. Okay. So from $881, you know, it's about 2000 Right. That's a, wow, that's quite a move. That's actually a spectacular move. So, you know, if I see Ethereum going down, I don't know. I mean, maybe around 1,500-ish, maybe. Anywhere between 1,600 already down to, you know, 1,200, something like that, right? If I see a move like that, even at when Ethereum is down to like 16, 1,500, yeah, I'm going to feel comfortable putting in a position, uh, maybe, you know, 4 or 5% position on Bitcoin or Ethereum, because Ethereum made a, uh, an incredible move, all right? Why? Because if I look at Ethereum's move in 2018, after it gets rejected on the green and it moves down around like half of its move, it goes back up, and so, you know, around similar price. So, you know, let's say it goes down to like 1500 or 1300 I don't know, something like that. 
Well, obviously around that time, I'm going to put in a position. I'm going to wait till it probably goes back around to 2000. And maybe I'm going to sell off on this time of this position that I buy in and let it maybe sink down a little bit more. Okay. And so, you know, that's just from one. But if you look at this, that kind of move will, you know, from $25,000 and for Bitcoin to go down to about 21,000, that's a, you know, that seems about right, you know, maybe even lower. So um, also by optical arts, if you look like every time this is the Dow Jones, every time it hits this white line. OK, it gets, you know, you have these wicks up, but it gets rejected. It did move up, you know, it's time for it to get rejected. Right. And once again, you know, I promote optical arts. I, I highly recommend you guys uh, go to his channel, check it out. Okay, this is Crypto Crew University. I I definitely been watching and following Crypto Crew, so of course I um, promote this channel. I haven't actually I bought one of his courses and I don't regret it. All right, so it's good. And you know he for Steve he feels that the bottom is already in for Bitcoin. Um, but if you look at this from like let's say 2014 15, you see on the bottom here is moving up while the prices are going down that's a bullish divergence right and then finally on the weekly you have red to green and that's like this price here now in 2015 though if you check it out you know you have a wick here and then another wick down so maybe bitcoin could do something like that or maybe like 2018 where it just it just it flies up there, you know. Um, but once again, Bitcoin might make this huge move up, but just whatever reason, a year later, you just had this boom, it just crashed down. Okay, what caused it? This was the COVID-19 crash, right? And so. Rather you look at 2014 or 2000, you know, 18, 19, you know, this is 2022, 20, maybe in 23 or 24, something just going to boom. We, we don't know what it is. It, it could be another disease. Um, it could be war. But, you know, something. And basically this crash was kind of close to the bottom. In 2018. So honestly, in 2022, when I look at the Bitcoin bottom of 17,000, that's why I'm not putting all my positions in yet. I'm really waiting for a good bounce up. And then, remember, I'm only like 40 to 45% in, I think. I, I haven't really fully calculated everything. But I'm over 50% out. And the reason why is because there's no reason for me to take this big risk. What if 17000 is not the bottom? Okay, I still have pre-orders where I have orders for Bitcoin at I think like thirteen, twelve thousand dollars $12,000. I haven't even checked it. I just left all the orders there. There's no reason for me to even mess with it because I don't know if it's the bottom. However, if Bitcoin does make a move up, okay... Like this, like a big move up, or 2014, like this, where I see it's going side, it has one more wick down to the you know, close to the previous bottom, and then it starts moving up. Well, if I see a pattern like this, or something like this, then you know, is to me, it shows that yeah, okay, Bitcoin got his bottom in, so then I feel more comfortable putting in. You know, at that point, maybe I might only have 40% in. I mean, uh, in 40% in um, Tether or whatever, a stable coin. And then I put the rest of it into Bitcoin or some other coins. Obviously, I'll, I'll let you know what all coins I'm going to be buying. So, you know, right now in the short term, I do see Bitcoin going down more. When Bitcoin's around like 21,000, yeah, I, I'm going to probably add positions. 
I might even put it in a very small position position at twenty two thousand something. Okay, um, right now I don't really care about hitting the bottom here because even when it moves up, if it goes to like thirty thousand and then it goes down to like under twenty thousand, that's when I'll start buying in more positions anyway um, because. I feel, I feel more comfortable that the bottom is in. If you have a big move up from 17,000 already to thir around 30,000, comes back down to under, tw you know, around 20,000 or under, I feel like, okay, the bottom probably was 17,000, you see? But right now, there's nothing in here for me to think like, oh, I need to just buy, put everything in. No, it, it's just, it's ridiculous. Why would I do that? Uh, here, I do follow Roman on um, Twitter, and he does, you know, he's very bearish, though, but I mean, I think it's just what he sees in the chart, you know, so he he's not, I don't think he's doing to be biased, it's just what he sees, and he sees a lot of, you know, bearish diversions, okay, in the charts that he looks at. Uh, what I see is, I showed you about the Ethereum, we're on the, uh, the move down from Ethereum just copying the same moves in 2018 and then I see this line here um, tell you the truth at least in the short term I think you're gonna see you know more downside now here this is by optical arts this was back like the very first Bitcoin bear market okay boom you see this red line it just at the end, it touched the red line and it moved, right? Here, this is like that 2014 or 13, whatever. Here, boom, did it again. Oh, no, this is 2018. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, and this is the COVID crash. You see how it just keeps touching that line, right? Wherever it crashes from. Well, this is now. And this is the red line here. And this is why to be on the safe side for me is I don't sell my positions or I don't get rid of those positions where I put in buy orders already down to 12000 or even some extra cash that I put no orders in. Because what if it does go down to, well, I don't know. I mean, 7000 wow. But anyway, what if it does go down, touches this red line one more time, to me sooner the better, but touches the red line one more time before it moves up because... That's what happened all in the past. Okay? Doesn't mean it has to happen. But, you know, I mean, it could happen. <laughs> right? Um, but also, Steve has a lot of charts where it kind of shows that, you know, the, the bottom is in. So, in my case, if I have two people that I really respect and they've been really good on their calls, I play it safe. Right? So remember, I showed you guys, I bought, because of my pre-buy orders, I bought in Bitcoin all the way when it was down at $18,000, right? So all, most of my positions were under, if I have dollar cost average where I bought positions from 23000 all the way down to 18000 you know, I'm probably around, you know, the, the 20000 range, you know, maybe a little under because maybe I put in more positions on the bottom side, but... Anyway, let's say I'm around the $20,000 range. Well, that's a pretty good dollar cost average. Right? And that's why I dollar cost average. I don't buy it all at one time, you know? And right now, you know, this this down pattern that we, we see right now, this is what I've been calling for, is, is happening now. We don't know how, how bad it's going to get. And so if you look at... This right here, this is the DXY. The DXY is gaining strength, right? And if you look at it from a six-month pattern, you know, this is an uptrend. This is an uptrend, okay? So mm -hmm. it seems like that the dollar will continue to get stronger. So you're wondering, what, what is this uptrend this guy's talking about? Well, let me, let me show you, Coke family. So here... You're telling me you don't see this uptrend? 
okay yeah up you don't you don't see this uptrend you know touch touch a little wick over whatever touch a little wick over down to the bottom trend well what if it goes back up what if it's gonna go above 110 okay because it touched the bottom of the trend right or had a wick underneath the trend whatever the case is now is above the bottom line and what if it, it works its way up you know in the next month or so, uh maybe in september october the the dollar compared to other currencies is is around 110 or above right well what do you think that was going to happen to bitcoin and and the stock market yeah it's not going to look so good it's not going to look so good right look at this This right here. Okay. This here. Yeah. That's like what? Around. I don't know. Maybe. Between July 22nd. August 22nd. So. Whatever. Let, let's say it's like beginning of August. Or. You know, a little late July. Late July. Well, if we look at it from the weekly. No, that's like four weeks ago. Maybe for the past four weeks, five weeks, five weeks. Uh, the dollar's been going down. Okay. Because you look at the date. You can look at the date here on the bottom, right? Okay, so let's say for the past five weeks, the dollar has been going down. The, D, the DXY has been going down. This card. Well, then look at Bitcoin. What, what has it been doing in the past five weeks? One, two, three, four, five. It's been going up. Bitcoin has been going up. While the dollar has been going down. But if you look at the big trend. And in the big trend. The micro trend. The longer trend. Whatever. You know. You see this. And you see that's going to go up like that. Well. Shoot. What do you think is going to happen? I mean. Y'all figure that out. <laughs> you, you think about it. What do you think is going to happen? Right? So, that's why, you know, I don't really see any reason right now where I want to buy in any positions. No. It just, you know, I mean, there, there's more reason, you know, it's just, oh, oh that was the wrong one. Sorry, people. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. You know, I just wanted to show you guys that. Right, so to me, there's no real big reason to want to buy in. I already have positions. You know, if I dollar cost average is at twenty, is around twenty thousand, and because you know I have Bitcoin on the exchanges, I'm earning. I'm earning. You know, my BTC, I'm I'm earning on it, and so that's what I'm doing. Right. Um, so right now, in the short term, I see BTC going down. Um, but then, you know, when I look at the Ethereum chart that I showed you guys from Crypto Crew University, you know, it's hard to say how far down it's going to go, you know. Now, the only thing, normally, if we were in normal conditions, I would feel more comfortable putting in more positions around like 20,000 or Ethereum going down to like 1,500 or something like that. But the problem is, is this, I showed you guys, but also um, Optical Arts is showing it here. Is this, this is the Dow Jones in 2008. Okay, and this is it now. All right, so what I want you guys to look at Okay, is 
this here with this move here and this right there. And then after that, boom, it goes down. Okay? Because you see it here. It's this move here. And so if it follows this, because this right here uh, is this right here. And so then it's going to boom, go down. Right? And so this should boom, go down. And that's what, that's what worries me. Because once again, history never repeats itself exactly the same. But man, it rhymes. <laughs> it rhymes. Okay? And so when you look at this, let me show you guys again, close up. When you look at that stuff, because remember, Bitcoin never experienced the 2008 financial crisis, right? It never experienced it from its existence because it wasn't even around in 2008. Okay? Bring it here and, ah. You know, it's not exactly the same, but it rhymes. And so it could follow that pattern because that's what happened here. Nice little bounce and boom. Right. And so let's say the Dow follows 2008 pattern. Right. A pattern. Which is similar. You know, not everything's always sim exactly the same. But, you know. Uh, once again, Bitcoin never experienced the Fed's raising interest rates the way it is and all of what's going on now. And so this is something new to Bitcoin. And if the Dow crashes down like this. Well, what do you think is going to happen to Bitcoin's price? And so you can see a move this big right here. I want you to look at this move. Right? Now, I'm going to discard that. And what I want you guys to see is if you look at Optical Arts... I have so much for you. Okay. That move can cause this move. There you go. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> that move can actually cause that move. Okay. That price to hit this line one more time. Bow before it moves up. And that's why. You know, I, I'm. I just, f for safety reasons, I see no reason to try to put all my positions. That's why I have, you know, around forty percent in. I still have a, a lot more on the side. If Bitcoin would have hit that twenty-eight to thirty thousand, I told you I would have sold everything and wait for the move down. But the daggone thing didn't move up. It's stuck in the middle, and so, however. When I look at the charts more, you know, I saw that Bitcoin, I expect to move. I thought it was going to maybe even move down last week, but, you know, I expect it to move down at least this week. And it's doing that. I just don't know how big of a move, you know. And when I sh think about what I'm just showing you guys, all of you now, especially what happened, you know, um, here in 2008, 2008, remember, I showed you that before. Okay, if y'all want to know who that is, that's me. I used to, I was an amateur bodybuilder. All right. Um, oh, where's Twitter? Where's Twitter? Here. Boom. I showed you guys this. 2008. It's the same thing by, but, but by someone else. See that? Bitcoin never experienced 2008. Right? But shoot, that move down, you see it here? That huge move down. Okay, look at that huge move down. That's a serious move down. That move right there can what? It can cause... Uh,
this one. Ah, here it is. It can cause that move. Okay? It can cause that move. That's all I'm saying. That's a, that's in the realm of possibility right there. So, or possibilities, right? And that's why, you know, right now the way Bitcoin moved, it, it put me in a stuck situation where I didn't want to sell. But definitely didn't put me in a situation where I want to buy in. And I definitely rather hold all those buying positions or at least also another 10% on the side or even more to dollar cost average if that thing goes Boom, down to like $7,000 later. As of, if Bitcoin maybe goes down to like 21000 and I put another, you know, 3 to 5% in, and what if it flies up to like 30000 And then, you know, around that time, I'm selling off because I expect to move down. But the whole point is, is that when Bitcoin goes back down to like 20000 well, I'll feel more comfortable buying in. Because I'll be like, okay, from 17000 you go all the way up to 30000 which is double the bottom. Chances are when it goes back down to hit a double bottom, which won't probably won't go back down to seventeen, but, you know, maybe a little 20000 a little under or 18000 who knows. I'll feel more comfortable adding bigger positions. Right? Maybe I'll still hold some because who knows? Maybe Bitcoin go, you know, goes down to twenty thousand, goes to thirty thousand, and then goes all the way down to ten thousand. You know, something crazy like that. However, when as the way Bitcoin is reacting on its way down, then I will remeasure how I I put in my buy-in positions, right? And so that's what you know I'm trying to show y'all. And th and yeah, that's it. You know, once again. I suffered through the 2017 bear market. No one told me what they were really doing. They're just like, give me money and I'll tell you what, right? I'm just doing this so you don't suffer the way I suffered. And I'm just showing you what I'm doing as someone who experienced it all. Okay, I'm, I'm being who I wish I had back in 2017. All right. Now, always remember, I'm not your financial advice. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm telling you what I'm doing, and I gave you reasons why. Okay? I'm giving you reasons why. So, yeah, there you have it. All right? So, now you know what my plan is. Okay? But I do expect, you know, a bigger move than, or, you know, yeah, Bitcoin to go down further than $23,363. Okay? As for Cocoin, remember I told you it doesn't look good for Cocoin because, you know, it was under the blue line and so far is reacting the way, <laughs> unfortunately, I imagine. Just because the prices are low doesn't mean that the project is bad. You have lots of coins like that. Lots of coins like that, okay? So whatever, Cocoin's down 95%. You have lots of coins down 90-95%. All right, you have lots of coins, okay? Um, I don't know, what was dot, was dots high? Okay, $55, well, $8, I mean, that ain't too bad. Um, okay, Made it just made a move up. But you have, I mean, this is like, it's hard to get on... Binance, all right, but you have a lot, you have other coins, like whatever, from $3 to 25 cents, this is over 90% down, okay, like you have other projects, well-known projects, where, you know, they're down like 90%, maybe even more mm -hmm. from their all-time highs, all right, so... You know, you look at Cocoin, the project is good, good leadership, everything, you know, um, and they're always trying to upgrade their system. But when the market is in a bear market, I mean, it's just how the market treats the assets or in here, the cryptocurrencies because it's a currency, right? And yeah, 
You know, if Bitcoin moves down, like, I mean, it crashes down, well, then I would think Cocoin will crash down even under that 25 cents, right? I've been calling for 25 cents. I just didn't think it would happen this soon. Um, but, you know, right now, because Bitcoin's going down further, I expect Cocoin to go down further than 32 cents as well. Okay. So, hey, at least I'm telling you guys honestly, right? I'm not trying to, like, uh, you know, hype you into buying Cocoin, right? Even when, when Cocoin made this move up, I say, yeah, it's probably going to go between the yellow and purple or whatever. I mean, just check the previous videos. It's not like I'm lying to you guys about what I think about the prices. But, yeah, I mean, I just, yeah, I imagine Cocoin will go down lower than $0.32. Cents. Um, but once again, we'll, we'll, you got to see how everything reacts, okay? So, yeah, there you have it. And, you know, remember, I'm not your financial advisor. You know, you get information from me. At least I'm just telling you honestly what I'm doing. What you do is up to you, okay? And then you get information from other people and do what you think is right, okay? All right, everyone. God bless all of you. All right, I'm praying for all of you in Jesus' name. God bless all of you. Please, you know, be healthy, physically healthy, eat healthy, be around the right people, be mentally and spiritually healthy. You want to prep up for, you know, inflation high inflation regardless of if it topped or not which i maybe i don't know i don't think it's hard to say if it topped but expect high inflation nonetheless expect you know supply shortages food all those things get still i would still say things will get worse before it gets better all right and you know i've been saying this for over a year and i haven't been wrong right so i'm just telling you what i see all right, that's just what I see. All right, everyone, God bless all of you, okay? And, of course, Coke on.